Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. The US Marines were looking for a new 8x8 amphibious armored personnel carrier, which would replace their aging LAV-25 series of armored vehicles that were used since the early 1980s. The US Marine Corps USMC, currently operates more than 700 LAVs of all variants. The U.S. Marine requirement was for a wheeled, medium-weight, fully amphibious armored troop carrier that could be launched from amphibious assault ships and operate in the open ocean. It was required that the new vehicle could fight on land alongside M1A1 Abrams' main battle tanks. The requirement was for a vehicle produced in the United States. So, in order to meet this requirement, a number of international companies teamed up with U.S.-based companies as expediters for the U.S. market. Thus appeared Amphibious Combat Vehicle ACV 1.1, a new armored vehicle designed and manufactured by BAE Systems in collaboration with Iveco Defense Vehicles. Before we get started, if you do enjoy this video and would like to see more just like it, remember to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to get more sent straight to your notifications. The ACV 1.1 program was initiated by the U.S. Marine Corps in 2011 to replace its age-old amphibious assault vehicles family, which entered service in 1972. The new vehicle is designed to offer enhanced survivability and payload features compared to the USMC's existing fleet of AAV-7. The U.S. Marine Corps approved the ACV's initial operation capability in November 2020. BAE Systems was awarded a $184 million contract by the USMC for the first 36 ACV vehicles in December 2020. The USMC placed a $184 million full-rate production contract for 36 more vehicles in February 2021, bringing the total number of vehicles to 72. ACV 1.1 is based on an 8x8-wheeled amphibious platform developed by Iveco Defense Vehicles. The armored hull of the vehicle has been developed using mine-resistant floor materials. The ACV can be launched and recovered from the sea using a ship. It can perform operations smoothly even in the adverse Sea State 3 conditions. The vehicle is designed to accommodate three crew members and 13 dismounted troops. It offers enough space to carry supplies required for the incumbents to survive for two continuous days. Marines enter and leave the ACV via a rear-powered operated ramp with integral doors. Also, there are roof hatches for observation, firing, and emergency exit. The overall length of the vehicles is 29 feet, 8.9 meters, while its width and hull height are 10 feet, 3.1 meters, and 9 feet, 2.8 meters, respectively. The ACV 1.1 has a gross weight of 67,500 pounds, 30,617 kilograms, and can carry a maximum payload of 7,280 pounds, 3,302 kilograms. The ACV can be armed with various weapons, including a remotely controlled weapon station with 12.7mm heavy machine guns and even a two-man turret with a 30mm cannon. However, it seems that this design reached its weight limitation already and will struggle to support heavier turrets. The previous LAV-25 packed a powerful 25mm cannon and was used as a fighting vehicle for reconnaissance roles, raiding, and screening operations. So it seems that the ACV lost some of the offensive capabilities of the LAV-25, and the ACV is mainly intended to carry marines and supplies from amphibious assault ships ashore, and then further inland. Still though, this armored vehicle combines protection, speed, and mobility, and can fulfill other missions. The hull also can be installed with a stabilized dual-mount turret for launching M2 Mark 19 grenades. Protection of the ACV has been improved significantly over the old LAV-25. The vehicle has a steel armor hull with an add-on armor kit. Protection level can be tailored depending on operational requirement. During peacetime, add-on armor is normally removed, but it is being installed during deployments in various hotspots. The interior is lined with spall liner. There is an NBC protection system and automatic fire suppression system. The ACV is powered by an Iveco Cursor 16 turbocharged diesel engine, developing 700 horsepower. It is a multi-fuel engine which can run on various grades of fuel. 
The engine is mated to an Allison automatic transmission with seven forward and two reverse speeds. The vehicle has an 8x8 configuration and hydro-pneumatic suspension. On land, the ACV is much faster than the AAV7. Propulsion on water is provided by two large water jets located at the rear. The power plant provides a maximum speed of more than 65 miles per hour, 105 kilometers per hour, on paved roads, and a maximum amphibious speed of 7 miles per hour, 11 kilometers per hour. The maximum road range of the armored vehicle when traveling at a speed of 55 miles per hour, 89 kilometers per hour, is 324 miles, 523 kilometers. The vehicle offers an amphibious range of up to 13 miles, 22 kilometers, plus a range of 250 miles, 402 kilometers on land. It is fitted with 16 R20 tires and can negotiate gradients of more than 60% and side slopes of more than 30%. The curb-to-curb -curb turning radius of the combat vehicle is 36 feet, 10.97 meters. The previous LAV series had a whole host of variants, including command post vehicle, recovery vehicle, supply carrier, 81mm mortar carrier, anti-tank missile carrier, electronic warfare vehicle, and some others. Variants of the ACV are also being developed and deployed. What do you think of the amphibious combat vehicle? Are you impressed by the upgrades? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to get our latest videos straight to your notifications.